I actually wanted to build ships since I was four. That's what I started telling my parents when I was about four, that when I grew up, I wanted to build ships. Naval architecture is um, it focuses on the design of ships, uh, it focuses on the maritime industry, kind of the process, the uh, design phases that we go through. I would describe it as an integration of really mechanical engineering, civil engineering, even electrical engineering, all into one system. In the most basic sense, naval architecture is knowledge required to build boats. The marine engineering piece is the fact that you're essentially designing a floating city, and depending on how big your ship is, it depends how complicated that design is. The amount of work that goes into ship design, there's a lot of aspects. I mean, you take into account an economics view, you take into account policy when you're looking through regulations. Ship design is very dynamic and integrated. We're building a boat from the bottom up, and this includes uh, designing the hull and computer programs, and all the way up to putting into the model testing tanks. You're given the basic level requirements for a design, and it's up to you to create the whole design, go through the sea keeping analysis. The real point is, is designing a ship from given a list of requirements to building a model, testing it in our tow tank, understanding what its performance is and how that compares to what you predicted it to be, and then presenting those designs to the Coast Guard community. My knowledge of ships and my knowledge of marine engineering, uh, when I leave the academy, is gonna help me to understand the systems on board the Coast Guard ship. The Coast Guard's main assets are boats, so it behooves the Coast Guard for their people to know, you know, what boats are capable of, how boats function, their stability. It just being so familiar with our key assets is extremely important. Really what we want to produce is highly technical students that uh, have a desire to continue to learn. Um, and have high critical thinking skills. You just have to generally go with what you have a passion for. I mean, I found this, uh, this is what I had a passion for. What I find most rewarding about the major is just the end of the day, a sense of satisfaction that I'm gaining skills that are going to uh, make me a better officer. They're going to help me in the career path that I desire. You know, once I started getting into my technical classes, you know, I really enjoy it. And if you really enjoy something, you really don't have to, you don't really work a lot. You just, you have fun. <laughs>